Thanks for staying with us. Now, if you're just tuning in, we're discussing road traffic and the role of citizens. Please let us hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at Plus TV Africa or at We Show Africa One with the hashtag We Show. Or you send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 0818038463. So we have a lot of questions for. <laughs> I don't even know where to start from. So, Isi, maybe you should start. Let me quickly pick one first. Mm. But let me take the, the star, um, a question. Okay. No. Um, okay, yeah, yeah. Let me take a question. Now, there, recently, the FRCN actually. FRSC. Decided, F, FRSC, mm. pardon me, actually stated that um, in 2021, they would. This, they would allow the Road Safety Corps to carry guns. Mm -hmm. So what's your take on this? Uh, do you think it's okay for LASPA to actually carry guns? No, or will you be they, requiring guns? No, 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 no. Uh, the job of FRSC is totally different from that of LASPA. Mm -hmm. We're in the metropolitan city. Mm -hmm. um, FRSC goes on the public highway. And um, a lot of things happen on the main highways, the express roads, mm -hmm. going out of town, out of Lagos to other parts of Nigeria. And uh, in that realm, you can understand the reason why FRSC would want to be harmed because mm -hmm. they're in isolated places and they're okay. vulnerable. And so they need to be protected. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, LASMA is in metropolitan city. Mm -hmm. um, we're, in, we're amongst people. Mm -hmm. And um, we also know our people. And um, you don't want a situation where um, the average Nigerian would antagonize a traffic officer and because he's harmed, Right, something would happen. That's not mm -hmm. the intention. I think one would anyone thinking about it would feel having a gun is just to change to redress the issue of um, aggression towards officers. Mm -hmm. But it's not firearms. Create another. Problem. Yeah, it's not firearms exactly. that is going to help that. Mm -hmm. exactly. What we need to do is via you, you, your, your people, your network, and everything to just constantly, constantly educate talk to people, and enlighten educate them. and tell people because the average Nigerian does not understand that they have a family who is in Lassima. Mm. Mm. They don't know. If they go and check their family tree, we're over 4,000. Hmm. We're over 4,000. Average Nigerian, average Lagosian, has okay. a family in Lassima. Now, if you root to one Lassima, you root to your own family. Exactly. If you, if you insult a Lassima, you're insulting your family. If you but the funny thing is that you don't even need to preach to us now. Yes. I don't know about anybody. But I'm telling you, people, we need them more than they need us. So hmm. let them, because it's true. Because look at how the insanity the on the road currently. Okay, now is, this is, is a, a comment from example. from um, Olufemi um, mm -hmm. uh, Kushimo. He says there is a total collapse of law and order in the country, mm -hmm. especially in the wake of the recent social unrest in the country. Mm -hmm. Really, we've lived up to the billings of, uh, of being tagged mm -hmm. a failed state with a near absence of law enforcement officials irrespective of the situation mm -hmm. Gov uh, government or its agency are not supposed to exist the scene mm. that's what we witnessed in the past few weeks on lagos roads in the absence of any sense of order it was only natural that people took advantage of the situation to create their own government on our already chaotic roads now Thank why you. did you even leave the the roads in the first place because mm -hmm. i know that yes last month offices were attacked but I really didn't see personal attack on last small officials. As in, mm -hmm. I don't know, that's me, me saying it from my own perspective. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I, I know that it was the police that were really, really more at risk of, you know, that, um, what's it called, reprisal attack. But last month really didn't. So when I saw that, I came out of my house, there was no single last month on the road. I was now wondering, okay, what exactly made, you know, last month leave the roads in the first place? Okay, I'll, I'll explain to you this week. Well, today is Saturday, right? Yes. This week, Monday, we had a meeting, management meeting. Mm -hmm. We now decided we're not going to fold our hands and sit down and cower as if like we've been defeated. Mm -hmm. We have a job to do, and the whole place is just completely chaotic, all right? Mm -hmm. As you rightly said. And so we went out and said, okay, let's just do some light enforcement. And enforcement is not like I want to arrest you. Enforcement means if I say, don't go on BRT, don't go on BRT. Mm -hmm. And that is enforcement. I want to enforce the use of the BRT, mm -hmm. not that I want to arrest you. And we did that on a Tuesday, and guess what? They stoned our vehicles. Wow. We had to retreat on Ikurudu Road. So when you say no last month was attacked, that's because they were very, very sensible and disappeared. Do you know what? How many times do you see last month wear uniform after 7 p.m. on the road? Even Except they're in they, a place they, they where it's lit. Right? Days. No, no, they won't because they're vulnerable. Hmm. Right? I'm not talking about those that have ulterior motive that is not yeah. right according to the plan. But generally speaking, because once, what, this is what happens. 
you arrest uh, 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 a bad driver during the day, and maybe it belongs to a group. I don't want to start mentioning this before mm -hmm. they now say I'm attacking them, right? They belong to a group. And then they've come to come and beg for the vehicle. It's taken one way, you've arrested them. And then you say, no, you go through the system, whatever. So now they're angry. And they've given them like a green light to say, I can't They do are angry. It is. So when it becomes dark and everything, they transcend that ang anger to any last more officer for just wow. doing his job. Wow. And it's not just commercial, it's also men in uniform. I'm, I am okay to say it. The, the two biggest challenges that we have in this city, men in uniform and commercial drivers. Wow. Okay, so let's take so, more questions okay. in um, um, EC. Okay, so um, um, there is no name here though. He says, what synergy is this between LASMA and NURTW? Is there a synergy between LASMA and NURTW? <laughs> He's smiling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then, before you answer that, let me take one more comment. This is just a comment. He says, um, sir, I don't, I don't think I should ask you, but um, why didn't they attack commercial buses? It's very simple. They are obviously passing a message across to the government. They are angry at the government. Well, that's true, because I think a lot of why they attacked um, the BRT buses, they felt the BRT buses are government property, so exactly. a lot of yeah, attack was... So it's sorry, who is, to... sorry. Okay. who are you referring to as they? Who is in this environment that we're in, in this mm. Lagos? The citizens, is actually, it, that's what I think he's... Citizens in this Lagos, capable of holding cutlasses and mm. guns? Now, are, you, are, are we serious here? Okay. Like these, we're saying that you would won are mm. capable of holding cutlasses and stuff and to mm. go on a destruction. We're talking about mm. youth too here. And so who are they? Who's we, you two? Uh, we are all Lagosians. We, we, should, we should be able to fish them <laughs> out. And so that, exactly, no, we will fish them out, but there's you too. Mm. So what I'm saying is there is a, an unanswered question why other things, because when you're angry, mm. you don't just say government. Because the BRT buses does not belong to governments. Mm. That, but that they don't know that. No, but no, you know, no, I wouldn't no. really. They I, do. No, you know, you know, the truth is, I wouldn't really say it was completely government because mm. now, you know, from just talking now, I remember what I we talked about yesterday. From the no, first no, question. we talked about yesterday when we talked about businesses that were attacked. Those yes. were not government businesses. There you Absolutely. go. They were they were private businesses private that were affected. So, yes. in fact, seriously, yes. yes. I mean, the governor, we went out on Sunday Circle and Mall. we went to, to mm -hmm. Circle Mall and everything. And that's the second time because the xenophobic issue yes, and from South Africa happened. So they've not even recovered from mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. So you see, my case, right, is the more we speak the truth about ourselves and not be afraid, mm. right? Although one has to be careful in rhetorics, right? Mm -hmm. But the more we speak the truth, the more we can get to where we want to go. So do you have a synergy between NURTW and LASMA? The synergy, the synergy is there in terms of like we're partners in this business, mm. all right? Mm. And so when you say synergy, sometimes is it negative synergy or positive synergy? Well, well in this then, we're thinking positive, actually. Yes, but then if it is positive, so how come that I can spend my whole life from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. just telling yellow buses to go into the bus stop? Mm. Mm. Why do I need to do that? Mm. Mm. Okay, they should actually also, make your um, job easier. There is also another statement. That this is from, uh, no, it's actually Adi a from question, the UK, yeah. yes. These are questions. He says, good evening, ladies. My questions, how do you deal with big man in power that violates the traffic rules? And his second question goes thus, until nobody above the law is in place and people can see the crime processing on all offenders, I believe the public will behave. Yes. So I think that's a statement. So we need your TV station. You need to create, like they do in England, they do in America, mm -hmm. you need to create a platform where you will showcase the ills of society, especially where traffic comes. So you would engage, you would collaborate with us, give us the information as we're out there. We capture all those big people, all those cars, their plate numbers, they're taking one way, they're misbehaving, they're doing wrong turnings, they're bashing people, send it, put it on TV. Nobody wants to spoil their family name, but put it there, let us all of us change. I am mm. telling you, every time we keep on doing this, nothing will change. For let us expose ourselves. From what he said so far, basically, it's all about... It's still the, back to the, the citizens. citizens. Yeah, so let me take some question, um, comments or questions. Yes. Salio says, the entitlement of road offenders get me really worried. Mm. What worries the, uh, me the most are people trying to tell 
the right road users that please go job yes. when the right road users is trying to correct someone we yes. see this a lot oh <laughs> we see this a lot the roller case says we must look at the process of giving licenses maybe we have to relicense some people and have stricter measures especially for public um, transport. That's from Roller Care. Mm -hmm. I have one from Chisom. Hi, guys. We are all citizens, and we should be able to make the country livable for all of us. But the government has more of the responsibility to keep Nigeria sane. The chaos is just so much. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Um, thanks very much. That's from Chisom. And finally, um, Benson says one more. Um, okay. I think he says... Um, I believe the biggest culprit of traffic violations are commercial transporters. Mm -hmm. What is the way to deal with this critical, very, very bad and age-long behavior? For um, what needs to happen mm -hmm. is you talked about the synergy and the collaboration. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, I mean, let me break it down. The commercial transport operators, unregulated individual needs, they are there providing a service but they're also earning a living. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if, for, for argument's sake, we have 75,000 operators, mm -hmm. so you have 75,000 drivers. In fact, you can double it if they share one vehicle between two drivers. Mm -hmm. Then you have the conductors to go with it, so you add that to it. So that's a huge number mm -hmm. of people who are dependent on that mode of transport. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. But we know for years that that is not an applicable mode of transport for a city, a mega city like, like Lagos, Lagos that is over 20 million people, right? It mm -hmm. is not. And that explains why even in Germany where they're doing this um, Faragon, all these Volkswagen vehicles, whatever, they stopped making these vehicles in the past 20 years. But funny enough, we're still using it for mm -hmm. public transport on wooden seats, right? So the government needs to continue to go ahead with rehabilitation of public transport system. The mass transit rail, very critical. We need to improve. I mean, government is doing fantastic well on water, but we need to let people know that you're not going to die just because you go on a water system. Mm -hmm. Last why is doing fantastic work. Lag Ferry is doing a fantastic job. Mm -hmm. So we need to improve on mass transit system. Mm -hmm. All right? Go all out. When this is happening and you incorporate their interests, that is employment, and financials, mm -hmm. right? Then they would feel comfortable leaving the yellow buses. They will not come into the realm of a sane environment. Mm -hmm. We rehabilitate and ourselves was already and everything. Grounds with that. Uh, BRT is gaining ground. Mm. But for those that are not getting anything out of out the BLT, of mm. that is an unwanted competition. Oh, my God. Mm. Okay, so um, someone so, is asking, sorry, let me just quickly take, because okay. we have so many questions coming in. Okay. Do you have any collaboration with the National Orientation Agency or the Commissioner for Communication? I think um, that's a critical question. Then he now says, the next culprit are those that carry police escort. This one. Oh, no. Mm. God bless Governor uh, Fashola that used... That used to obey traffic light. Recall that he disciplined an army colonel once for taking BRT lane. So, mm -hmm. do you have collaborations with the um, um, what's it called, like um, national orientation agency or the commissioners for um, information? I think that's what he's trying. No, to I wouldn't. I wouldn't say if you're talking, uh, talking about ag uh, our agency. Yeah. I won't say because we're still under government. We're yeah. under Ministry of Transport, and we have Ministry of. Um, so. Thing. So, all that one is under their purview, mm. right? I mean, that will be representing the government itself on yeah. the federal level. Mm. But it is true that I did mention earlier on, we have major problem, major, major, with men in uniform. Mm. And by extension, they even give their hats or caps to their girlfriends, mm. to wives, and they go out with total impunity, go on BRT lane, and you just try and stop them or even try to confirm whether they're actually military. Mm. And they get very upset. Okay, so you know, because we're running out of time, um, you know that almost all the roads, you know, okay, I think that's even what this person is saying, but the person didn't put their name. Okay. He says, almost all the roads in Lagos State is under construction. Why can't motorists play, uh, apply the BRT lane? No, this is not the question I want to say. You can't apply the BRT lane. So we know that the roads are like, like, we have bad roads, so yeah. we can't excuse that from this thing. So if we want to start to say we want to take responsibility and ownership of the roads and work hand in hand with you people, what do we need to do? Because I think uh, most times, once people cite traffic, mm. they just get 
they go into this panic mode. The next thing, people turn back and they start to go through one. Except when they are legitimate, because I have seen on this Lagos Expressway, Expressway, where maybe a pole fell over the road and mm -hmm. they tell you to go and take the one way just to mm -hmm. boycott it. Those are exceptional. Yes, they control. have. Do you understand? Or trailer breakdown of, of fire. Yes. Or, yeah, so that's exceptional. So how will um, LASMA communicate better? You know, maybe for instances like that, so where you tell commuters that just calm down in the next five minutes, mm -hmm. you are out of this. It's just a five minutes traffic. Because most times what I do when I'm on my Google map, I just make sure that I'm on Google. Google will tell you in the next time, although lately Google has been lying, Shah. <laughs> because we Google, forgot when we were going Google, home, um, Google will tell you 10 night. minutes and we Come ended on. up going home 3 a.m. that day. Yeah, yeah, yeah but, but wait. Just, just in yeah. 10 minutes, hours. in 10 minutes, anything can change. Definitely. All it takes is just one incident. You see, yes. apart from last month controlling traffic, there are other factors, like you mentioned, yes. about, about the condition but, of yes. the roads, right? Then you now have accidents, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right? Then you have illegal parking, obstructive parking. Mm -hmm. Then you have the market people, mm -hmm. people selling on the road, taking over the walkway. When you take off the walkway, the pedestrians now walk on the road, you're now reducing the capacity of the then carriageway for vehicles. people crossing the road instead of using the pedestrian bridge. So bridges. all these things are those things that causes the problem of traffic. So it is not, and you cannot, so, LASMA cannot go to a marketplace and forcefully tell the woman selling Akara with her oil, whatever, and say you need to move. So we all have serious response. Some people so are buying. You, if you have to say something to individuals or to um, the citizens currently, what would you tell them in terms of being responsible on the road? I, I will say to them, and I will plead, that we are where we are. If our city was like New York or Los Angeles or London, we can say no problem. But we know we are not at that level. So we must manage ourselves with what, the same way you manage your soup at home. You must be able to manage the traffic and the movement of persons in this place. If you keep on stopping on the road to buy a puppy dog and yam and everything, you're part of the problem. If you park on a zebra crossing, stopping somebody from crossing, you're part of the problem. And so we need every action that every individual takes in this Lagos. If you just ask yourself, like, can this affect somebody else, we will change our behavior. But because we don't ask ourselves questions, we just think it's normal. When I stop someone from doing an illegal thing, whatever, I say, oh, that's how, what I've been doing for the past one month. Why are you stopping me? Everybody's doing it. Like that, because we don't have the capacity and the ability to ask self-questions. Okay, so now, we want you people on the road back. And we want you the way you were before the protest. It's not going to happen now until uh, we are out. Okay. Honestly, we're out. Uh, most of last gun were about, probably about 85, 95%, right? But that's not good enough, because even at 100 we, we can't even cover all the intersections and junctions, let's yeah. be honest, right? Yeah. But I, I don't want to under, on, um, play an under par with the safety of officers. Of officers. Mm. I would rather there was traffic on the road than to have a LASMA officer in the mortuary. Mm -hmm. mm. That's really, really deep. So, um, so the responsibility you are throwing it back at us. No, I am saying that, yes. well, it's for everybody. The police are, have always been our backbone. Mm. When there are incidences by law, you have to go and incidents in the police station, go and report. When you have fracas or you're being attacked, you go to the police to come and give you that support. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if we're still not sure that the That's police 18. are out there, the way they should to be, guarantee then the safety. last more officer who does not have that backup is thinking, who is asking me to go and kill myself? Mm. So can't but you we're work, there. Well, yeah. Why can't you work hand in hand? No, with because the police. No, no, we do. No, 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 we do that. But the police, it's federal, and the mm. police have said they're out. But we have to see the police. Yes. When you see the police, then ask Lasma, what is the problem? What problem do you now have that you're not on the road? Mm. Mm. We need that kind of protection. Except every individual in Lagos signs a document that from today. I promise not to misbehave on the road, and I promise not to knock any last man down. If a last man officer tells me to stop I, stop, I will stop. If we have that, we are good to go. I think we can wrap it up there. Honestly, because um, if for anything, for anybody, we might be laughing about some of these things, but it's actually very painful and it's hurtful. Um, some people take, take the pain to stay inside the traffic patiently. Yeah. I mean, if we take on that responsibility as citizens, you know, 
I, I know that it can be better. Mm -hmm. Once you, I mean, like you rightly said, once you think about the next user on the road, you will do better. You know, don't think about, oh, I'm in a hurry to get to where I'm going to. There might be a pregnant woman that is in labor. Yeah. She's stuck in that traffic because you took a wrong turn. Yeah. You know, so let us just think and be our brothers keepers and let us see how we can encourage the last mile officials to also come back. If they tell you to stop, you know you are in the wrong. Do the right thing. I think it's, we can leave it there. Absolutely. We can, we can leave it there. Thank Absolutely. you so much. You're welcome. Thank you so much for, for, for joining us this evening. Um, Please watch a repeat broadcast of this episode tomorrow at 3 p.m. It's been a really, really insightful conversation. Keep all the conversations going on all our social media platforms at We Show Africa One or at Plus TV Africa as we continue to hear what you're saying. Now, in case you missed today's quote, here it is again. If I complain about a traffic jam, I have no one to blame but myself. If you think about this, let it resonate with you. You would understand that we all have a responsibility to keep our roads sane and free from traffic. We'll see you live tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Enjoy your evening. Oh.